In this video, I will be reviewing the essays that got me into one of the most competitive majors at UT Austin, Biomedical Engineering. I will also give you some tips for your essays and for the application, so make sure to watch till the end. So I applied during the 2023 and 2024 application cycle through regular decision. And in this video, I will be revealing the essays and some application advice to help you get in. And if you have any questions or like just video suggestions, let me know in the comments because I read every single one of them. And don't forget to like and subscribe to help boost the YouTube algorithm and so you can stay updated for future content. Anyway, let's begin. First things first, I'm gonna go over the stats and test scores that got me in. Number one, my class rank. So I was ranked 17 out of 181, and my SAT was a 1450. GPA unweighted was a 3.98. I had 150 volunteer hours plus 50 shadowing hours. If you want a more uh, expanded overview of my stats, you can check out the video here where I go over my college decisions when I applied to 20 colleges and BSMD programs. So yeah, be sure to check that out. Now that you know my stats, we're going to get into my essays. So UT Austin requires you to write four essays in total, each 300 words. To read my essays, we're going to read on this computer. Pretty big, huh? Just kidding, it's dead. So first things first, I'm gonna read all four essays and then later on give you advice for your essays. So yeah, let's start. Prompt number one. Why are you interested in the major you indicated as your first choice major? Okay. As the early morning sun spilled through the currents of my grandfather's clinic, the sharp aroma of Targer Balm drifted through the halls. My grandfather's office was lined with anatomy diagrams detailing the body's meridians. The sights and scents that once felt foreign now blended seamlessly into my life. Little did I know that this sacred place would become the birthplace of my passion for medicine. From then on, I was certain that the medical field was the profession I wanted to pursue. It was not until witnessing my grandmother's battle with cancer and volunteering at my local hospital that I found oncology as a path for my life. I have always been passionate about engineering as well, and it is reflected in my participant participation in UAL science and my advanced physics course load. I hope to combine these passions in college and beyond. UT Austin offers world-class resources and enriching programs. I look forward to opportunities such as contributing to Dr. Pepper's research and investigating the role of cell heterogeneity in cancer progression and therapeutic responses. I am fascinated by Pepper Lab's development of a way to tag tumor cells to study how they evolve in chronic lymphocytic leukemia. UT Austin will allow me to learn from innovative professors while also pursuing my current research interest in the tumor microenvironment and cancer progression. During my time at UT Austin, I will not only earn my biomedical engineering degree, but also embark on a journey to obtain my MD and PhD in biomedical engineering. After finishing my education, I will use my biomedical engineering background to to create new medical technology like AI algorithms to detect early signs of pancreatic cancer and re-engineer tumor microenvironments to treat cancer. So for some background of that essay, uh, this essay was about my passion for medicine and my future goals. So both of these were supposed to tie into my major in biomedical engineering and I also included how I would take advantage of the resources at UT Austin, which you heard through my spiel about uh, the doctor I want to do research with and that good stuff. So definitely research into your major and into UT Austin. Prompt number two. Describe how your experiences, perspectives, talents, and your involvements in leadership activities at your school, job, or community, or within your family will help you make an impact in both in and out of the classroom while enrolled at UT. As a child, my fascination with math was undeniable. The beauty of math for me lied in its definitive nature. Each problem had only one correct answer and there was no room for subjective interpretation. However, as I progressed through my education, I realized that the emphasis seemed to be solely on solving the problem at hand, without delving into the underlying why behind it. Furthermore, we are often taught only one method to arrive at a solution, often overlooking more efficient approaches. It wasn't until I reached high school that my perspective on, on math transformed, thanks to Mr. Brian McLogan, my geometry teacher. He not only taught us a prescribed curriculum, but also encouraged us to question the reasoning behind the problem we were solving. He challenged us to think beyond the service level and explore the logic and principles that govern mathematical concepts. 
It was through his guidance and that I that I truly began to appreciate the why behind each math problem and began to explore alternative alternative methods of solving them. During that time I had the privilege of being introduced to NumberSense, a fast-paced mental math competition testing topics from algebra, geometry, and calculus. I took it upon myself to create my own methods for tackling various mathematical tasks, such as Fibonacci, scoring numbers, and solving derivatives. Mr. Thomas taught me the importance <clears throat> of asking why yeah. rather than just being satisfied with the how. And at UT Austin, I will encourage others to adopt this mindset when faced with a problem. I believe that UT Austin will embrace my academic curiosity and prepare me to make a lasting impact on the world. I hope to use my problem solving skills that were refined through participating in Numbersons to make an impact in the classroom during my time at UT Austin. So this essay was to communicate my love for learning and showcase how it will allow me to be successful at UT Austin. So that's just a little background for you and we're going to move into the third essay. Now for prompt number three. The core purpose of the University of Texas at Austin is to transform lives for the benefit of society. Please share how you believe your experience at UT Austin will prepare you to change the world after you graduate. During the summer of junior year, I volunteered at UT Southwestern in the oncology department. Each day, I cared for the same group of patients, so I was able to watch their steady recovery. Soon, the patients started to recognize me because of my frequent visits and striped candy cane uniform. I shared many significant moments with the patients there, but I like to reflect on a particular encounter with this visually impaired cancer patient. At the beginning of my nine hour shift, I was told to report to room 1090. The patient had been calling for a doctor, so I was asked to accommodate him for a while. The elderly man was anxious as he expressed his fears of passing. I tried to ease his nerves by ordering him some breakfast and engaging in conversation. We exchanged names and in this essay I'll refer to him as Bob. While feeding Bob his breakfast of scrambled eggs and coffee, each spoonful carried a sense of nostalgia that reminded me of when I used to care for my grandmother and her battle with pancreatic cancer. I felt satisfying knowing that I had just played a role in, in improving the life of another cancer patient and their family. Our exchange made me realize my desire to help more patients and their families in battling cancer. At UT Austin, I will continue to improve the lives of cancer patients and consistently strive to reduce the health disparity in society. Compassion is the source of healing in every aspect of medicine, and I am dedicated to extending as much, as, as much of it to future patients as I presently do. Being, sur being a surgical oncologist and researcher has become my dream, and I am dedicated to advancing the treatment and the diagnosis of cancer. Problem number four. Please share background on events or special circumstances that you feel may have impacted your high school academic performance, including the possible effects of COVID-19. It's 9.31 p.m. around mid-August of 2020, and the bright glow of my phone illuminates my room. I'm editing a YouTube video and my fingers dance across the screen as I craft transitions and perfect the timing of each clip. I should be working on my homework, but my passion for YouTube holds me in its grasp. Hours turn into days, days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, as my academic performance bears the weight of my all-consuming hobby for the entirety of my freshman year. But there is a turning point, point at the start of my sophomore year, a moment that changed the course of my ambitions. The day my YouTube channel was unexpectedly deleted. A sense of loss washed over me. The phone screen that once radiated with creativity and joy now seemed dim and lifeless. It seemed as if a part of my identity had been torn away, leaving behind an empty canvas that yearned to be painted on. Removing the remnants of my past created space for the bold strokes of my newfound passion for math and medicine. These bold strokes were soon filled with color as I explored my passion for math and medicine through math and science competitions, volunteering and writing research papers. My academic shortcomings, once like stubborn stains, were gradually erased by the necessity to make a tangible difference in the world of healthcare. I have learned to embrace these changes. If I can't control what happens to me, I have learned to control how I respond to it. As I continue my academic pursuit, my canvas is no longer empty, but not ready to be finished. It is an ever-evolving masterpiece. Rather than chasing perfection, I, chose, I choose to color outside the lines and remain open to new paths. 
So I'm going to share with you some quick tips to guide you in writing your UT Austin essays. Number one is to be aware of your word count. You only have 300 words, so make the most of it. And number two, don't just list your extracurriculars because that can be too bland and generic. Have value for what you're mentioning. And by listing, you're kind of making an essay that isn't too memorable. Number three, don't repeat any info across your essays. Again, you only have very little word count and make so make the most of it and don't repeat only new information. And lastly, make your essay unique. Don't copy others. You can use others as an example for writing yours, but don't copy others. That's that's bad. Use your own style. So now I'm gonna go into a more deeper analysis of my essay. Number one is I want to notice how I connected each essay like a story. <clears throat> Even though each conveyed a different message, but each of them were intertwined in one story that was supposed to reveal different aspects of my life and my personality. And number two, I gave them everything. And what I mean by that is I showed emotional vulnerability. I was vulnerable in my essay. Even though it may be hard for many of us to do that, it was hard for me definitely because you're basically writing a college essay for a stranger to read. But by writing with vulnerability will definitely make your essay 10 times more compelling, trust me. And number four is <clears throat> communicate your essay with great passion. Another way to set yourself apart is through passion, whether you like art, <clears throat> art, engineering, or pre-med like me. Communicate that with passion. And being authentic with it will definitely catch the AO's eye and make your essay more memorable. And another tip, sorry, I'm just referring to my computer, is to also answer many of these questions. One, how can the college help you? As you may have noticed, I I told how UT Austin will help me achieve my goals, and that is one of the things you wanted to say in your essay. How can the college help you? Which definitely comes hand in hand with how you will contribute with this, how you will contribute to the college. And also, answer this question, by offering a spot at their university, how will you bring change to the college or to the world? And why should they offer you the seat rather than someone else? And by incorporating these tips, you've basically already set yourself apart from most of the crowd. So congrats on that. And another tip I wanna give you is when talking by yourself, don't say it in a way that puts others down. And let me give you an example. So let's say I said this. In contrast to other pre-meds who have no direction, I am deeply passionate about the field of oncology. See how that sounds? It sounds pretty arrogant to me. Instead, I could just say, oh, I am deeply passionate about the field of oncology without saying that first part, because you know, that first part was very arrogant. I was wanting to say. And that is one thing I want to point out to you, to not make that mistake. And another tip is, is to get many people to read your essays. Get a variety of opinions and suggestions to make your essay better. Because let me tell you, it took me a while to make this, make all four of these essays. It took me two whole months to write them, from September all the way to November. So give yourself a lot of time to complete multiple drafts. I hope this helped and we're gonna go into the application advice. Just kidding. So basically the video is getting pretty long so I'm gonna have to end it here. But anyways, if you want to see more for the UT Austin application, citing some advice on that, like your test scores, your letter of recommendations, and your resumes, I'll be uh, posting that video sometime next week or in the future weeks, so make sure to subscribe. And considering that this application cycle is gonna be somewhat different, like for one, uh, the essays are kind of different. So instead of having to do four total essays uh, for the fall 2025 cycle, instead you're only gonna do like a total of three with one optional. So they kind of added this new prompt and removed one of them right here. So you have a longer prompt, but you'll have to write less essays. So yeah, good for you. But for the spring applicants, sorry about that. Uh, it's gonna still be the same for you, four essays. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and uh, make sure to like and subscribe for more future content and so we can boost the YouTube algorithm to get this video out to more students. Anyway, thank you.